So I'm not sure how long could we sleep. Fifty days. Surely something will interrupt us. Don't tell me you'll be on Earth, though. That would be... Status. Unfortunately, it appears the radiation has not yet subsided. Unless Delta-6 managed to improve the beacon, the Ithaca will not be warned. Delta-6, this is Delta-13. What is your status? Nice. Delta-6, status. Oh, no. I'm not picking them up on sensors, either. However... There is a high gain broadcast coming through. From the Ithaca. I'll patch it in. This is the SCI Ithaca automated nav transponder. Correction burn initiating. Three, two, huh? one. Okay. The vessel is passing by on its way to Earth. Then, as anticipated, the beacon has failed. Effectively, we are witnessing the origin of the biomass outbreak. Correct. This does appear to be the final moment from which the ensuing series of events could be changed. A tipping point, if you will. Which we should not change. <laughs> what should we do now? Without Delta-6, delivering our data on the base genetic material is far less tenable. How so? Simply put, we are back to not knowing what happens next. An Atlas team could arrive within the hour, or within a year. Or never. Huh? Precisely. Delta-6 would have been able to assist such a team in finding us while we're in hibernation. <gasps> but without that, we must err on the side of extreme caution. How long can we remain in hibernation? The main issue is the lifespan of that mobile reactor. At current operation, it should last roughly 50 years. If we were to minimize the beacon's output, we could last roughly 500 years. But then I doubt anyone would find us. Well, it's space after all. I agree. The odds of someone discovering us would be quite low. What if someone knew to look? If they wouldn't give up on looking? Captain Rhodes. Exactly. If we hibernate until 2537... She will search for us once we fail to return. In fact, if we altered the beacon's message to one she would uniquely recognize... And time its broadcast to resume when she would start searching... Then we should be easily found, with power to spare. Pausing beacon now. I'll set it to resume shortly after when we would have disappeared. Beacon set. The next time we awaken, it should be due to Captain Rhodes having received our message. Initiate hibernation when you're ready. Echo One is uh, sleeping more than me nowadays. <laughs> God damn. Earth has been quarantined. Passage to and from is prohibited until further notice. Wait. Already? Why? Jack, listen. Message to all colonies. Do not, I repeat, do not attempt passage to Earth. Any and all traveling vessels avert course to your nearest off-world settlement. All passage to and from Earth is prohibited until further notice. It's a distress call from Earth. And not the only one. I'm intercepting countless transmissions from ships disobeying orders. Fleeing Earth. Nothing. We do nothing. The infection is spreading. Indeed. 
The outbreak is already well underway. We should conserve energy, Jack. And Gary? Reinitiate <laughs> hibernation when you're ready. What now? 200 years later. Huh? Apollo, what is happening? We're passing through a debris cloud. It is mostly comprised of small particulates of rock and ice. But the sensors indicate a denser cluster on the collision course. <laughs> How long before it reaches our position? We have approximately 20 seconds before impact, however. The trajectory places the affected area outside our immediate position. We will experience some impact traps, but this bay should provide adequate protection. Let me hold. <laughs> Okay. Casual. Tremors subsiding. Minimal damage to the activation bay. Wait, what? You were saying? The impact appears to have destroyed the mobile <laughs> reactor. What are our options with limited power? I now estimate we will fall short of reaching Dr. Harlan's time by nearly a century. Our only option now is to initiate a complete shutdown, to leave all remaining power for the beacon when it restarts in Harlan's time. What happens with the data though? A complete shutdown would cause all non-essential data to be purged. Yes, but I should be able to preserve your critical memory banks, including the biomass data imprint. Huh. But as long as the distress call reaches the doctor and captain, they can retrieve this shell and transfer your preserved memory core. Good luck, Jack. <laughs> Disabling all non-essential subsystems. Hey. Goodbye. You didn't even ask. Apollo. Oh. So, I guess we're dead. <laughs> like, what happens now? <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't see the exit from it. And the game makes you believe that you're dead. <laughs> like, I don't know how long I spent. Oh. Neural matrix transfer. Verify hardware connection. Okay, mapping four protocols to target. How much longer? The transfer should go much faster now that we finally isolated his core protocols. Atlas Intelligence Systems. Artificial Neural Matrix version 11.312. Initialize boot sequence. That's it. I think he's waking up. Jack? Oh, wow, we're back here. Liv? Yeah, it's me. Everything's all right. You're back on Holland's ship. The scan data, did you? Yeah. Okay. I got it. Dr. Harlan is already in the lab developing a countermeasure. We're not there for hours now. I think you gave him a lot to unpack. You did good, Jack. Come on out. We'll see how it's going. I thought we were gonna change the course of history. <laughs> well, I guess we got you. The anomaly. It collapsed. Yes, we suspected as such. I don't know what happened. It was us. We fried the FTL. We wanted to give you as much time as we could. Oh. But we let it run too hot for too long. 
And you left me? It appears they've already started another test. We'll have to wait until they finish. Right. When it happened, you know, when the FDL collapsed, I, I thought... <laughs> you shouldn't then keep me that long. You thought I wasn't coming back? Yeah. So did I. I was almost okay, you know, with being stuck in this crappy future. So long as it was you and me. But when I saw that FTL burn out, and you didn't come back, just... Don't ever do that to me again. I'll do my best. Stand by. I'll unseal the door. Hey.